Okay, welcome back to the next video on using the terrain editor. So in the last video, what we did is we used the auto generate menu. This time we're going to create regions using the region menu. So let's go ahead and go over to the home menu, click on the terrain editor. And again, we were in the create menu last time. This time we'll be in the region menu. Okay, now in this one, Let's go ahead and uh, what we want to do is we want to create a region around our spawn location. So it's a good idea to be kind of zoomed in on your spawn location. And then uh, go ahead and hit select. And the way that you create a region is you just click with the left mouse button and then drag. And that will create a region. And it, <laughs> it will do different things depending on where you are. So I'm just going to start here. Okay. Once you release the left mouse button, now you have a region. And there are these little blue circles. And these little blue circles you can use to change the size. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make this. Um, let me turn my camera and zoom out. And we're just going to pick a nice size for a region. So let's do something... Let me make this a little bigger. This is going to be kind of the, um, what I put it, kind of like the base, the floor of our region. And we're going to place three regions on top of this. So I'm going to make this a little bit longer. That's good. And then, um, <clears throat> let me move this back a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm going to switch to a top view so I can kind of see what size this is. And whenever it does that, you have to zoom out because this thing um, just isn't on camera anymore. Okay, um, and this is pretty good. Let me make this side a little wider. That's good. And then let's see. Wow, that's, that's a good size actually. We can put three regions on here, no problem. Um, you could make this a little wider. I kind of had that a little wider in my demo, but that will work. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera view. And again, it takes a while because we are zoomed out quite a bit. But this is good. Okay, now that we've um, we've selected a region, we are going to fill it with a material. Okay, and so we press the fill button here. And uh, you can choose anything. Again, this is going to be kind of the bottom of other regions that we're going to put on top. So I'm just going to make this, um, let me see, let me try a few different ones. And you can change this if you don't like it. I'll try concrete. So I'll pick concrete, then I'll press fill. And there we go. We have a nice concrete base for our regions. And this looks good. Yeah, I like it. Okay, now you will notice that the spawn location is again underneath or inside of this region. And you can just move it by um, clicking on the spawn location and then the move button and moving it up slightly. So I'm gonna place it up here in the air because we are going to put some other regions on this. And so we could um, press the select button again and create uh, more regions on top of this. I'm gonna break this up into three regions on top here, but an easier way is just to make a copy of this and then resize it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a copy. I made a copy. I'm going to paste it. It's going to be in the same location. Okay. And then I'm going to use the move button to move it up slightly. There it is. Okay. Now it's up in the air. So let me, let me change the camera view so you can see what it's doing. Yeah, so you see it's kind of in the air right now. And uh, I don't know what that is over there. Huh. Not really sure what, what, oh, it went away. Okay, so I guess um, just um, an artifact, uh, some kind of graphics, um, graphics artifact. So we, we made this region, we made a copy of it. And what I want to do is I want to resize this, okay? Because I'm going to make three of these, and I'm going to make uh, three different regions on top of this um, this kind of base. So let me go ahead and resize this. So I'm going to hit the resize button. And now we can make this any size we want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make it about um, a third of the size of this base. 
So let me go ahead and use this to move it. Oh, wow. Huh, that's weird. So when you when you zoom out, it starts to look a little weird, but when you <laughs> when you zoom in, it fixes itself. So I'm not sure if that's my graphics card or my computer or something. But, oh, you can also, okay, so you can see here, I can see the sphere for resizing here, but I can't see these others. I just see these tiny little squares. And you can actually click on those tiny little squares and drag. Okay, so let me let me make sure, let me see. I'm gonna make this uh, right on top of my region. <clears throat> so I'm gonna drag this until it's touching. And that's, looks like it's good okay and then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a top view so that I can um, make sure this is about the right size this way and it actually is it's about a third so I wanted to have three of these so this is about the right size um, so now let's fill it with something else so this region I'm going to fill with um, let's do ground and I'm going to press fill and there it is so I have a ground region on top of my <clears throat> on top of my plate and one thing I'm curious about let's let's see if it let's see how it connected those two regions so let's go to, from the side here and it you know it kind of hmm it kind of did this so I'm curious if I resize and stretch it out a little bit on the bottom if it's going to Kind of merge them so let me go ahead and go to resize again and then let me click on that little square and see what happens oh it did okay so that's kind of what i wanted i wanted these regions to kind of merge with each other okay so this is actually good uh this is exactly what i wanted so now i'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna put it on the other side and then i'm gonna copy another one and th that's gonna be the the middle region that i'm gonna fill with water okay so um again i'm gonna zoom out a little bit and I'm going to do copy paste. So I'm gonna do copy, paste, and then I'm gonna move my copy over to the other side. Yep. I'm gonna put it right all the way to the edge. And that looks great. Um, the only thing is I am gonna change the material on this. So this one I'm going to make, let me think, let's just pick another material. So this one was ground. So I'm going to fill again, and this time I'm going to use, let's see what grass looks like. Oh, that's good. So it's got that, um, you can see the individual grass on there. So that, that looks good. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this middle region with water. Okay, so I'm going to make a copy again of this region. I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste it, and then I'm going to move it. And uh, let me make sure I have the move button. Oh, it was already on. Okay. <laughs> Luckily. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess I did not make a copy of it. So let me undo there. Control Z. Let me select. Oh, okay. So this is the only... <clears throat> I wonder if I can do Control Z. Let me see. No, nah, I can't. Um, so this is the only the only thing with the region editor. <laughs> if you click somewhere else, you cannot modify that region anymore. And I, I haven't figured out a way to do that. Yeah. So so now uh, you know instead of making copies of this region, now I have to make an entirely new region and put it in here. But that's okay. I mean, it's not it's not impossible. It's just a little more work. It's always easier to copy and paste and resize than it is to create an entirely new region. But we'll go ahead and do that. So let me um, press on the select button and we're gonna make a region right here. And yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to resize this. So let me put this over here. And then I'm gonna have to turn around and um, change the size on this region. Yeah, so if you can avoid uh, <laughs> losing your region, it, it's, it goes a lot faster then you don't have to do what I'm doing right now. But it's okay, like I said, it's it's not it's not like that big a deal. Okay, that looks good. Um, definitely too high, so let's put this lower. Okay, that looks good. And now let me just check all the different, different sides to make sure that I'm uh, touching. 
everywhere. That looks good. Okay, now let me check these sides. Okay, and the other side, and then I'll check the bottom, and I think we're ready to fill this with water. Okay, and then the last thing I want to do is just check the bottom to make sure I am, yeah, I am right exactly where I want to be. Okay, now what we're going to do, oh, actually, this is still too high. Let me, let me lower this a little bit. That looks good. Okay, now I'm going to fill this with water. So I'm going to fill, and then pick water, and then press the fill button. And we have water in between our two regions. Um, and this looks good. I, I, like, I like the way this, this works. All right, good. And so you see I have this concrete base, right? So you can't swim through the bottom. And you really could, um, you know, if you wanted to, you could, you could add a side to this so that you could not swim off the edge. But I'm just going to leave it like this. And again, if you zoom out, you can see these little artifacts, but those go away when you zoom back in. So let me see. Yeah, it looks good. So for some reason, when you zoom out, it doesn't look right, but that's not real. Okay, so let me lower this um, spawn location and we will test this out. Oh, and uh, let me turn off the, uh, the um, select button. There we go. Okay, I got the move button. So let me turn this, let me move this down a little bit. That looks good. Okay, so now I can go ahead and test this and let's see what it looks like. And this is this is pretty big. Um, but it looks good. Okay, so we've got ground over here. And then once I jump into the middle, we've got a little lake. And again, remember, you can change the direction of where you swim, which direction you swim by... Um, the camera location. So this is kind of nice. Okay. And again, if you stop swimming, you'll just rise to the surface and then you can jump out. And I do like the way this grass looks. Um, you can see all of the little grass leaves moving. Okay. So this worked. So we use the region editor to create um, kind of these rectangular regions, uh, grass. And then over here we have water. And then we started with, um, <laughs> takes him a long, long time to swim across. And then we started with ground on this side. Okay, so let me stop this. And um, let me see what else we have here. And that's really it. Um, you could actually add more regions if you wanted to. The, the only thing that is um, I wish it was different is that you can only create these kind of rectangular regions, right? I mean, you can come back later and like cut pieces off to change the shape, but this is what you start with. You start with these rectangular kind of cube shaped regions, but, um, but that's okay. Um, this works really well for making uh, certain types of terrain. Okay. So what we've done is we've used the create menu. We've used the region menu and we're actually going to come back here um, a little later on because this lets us uh, move things that we create in the edit menu. But the next video, we will go ahead and explore the edit menu. So I'll see you in the next video.